Hello friends, this is Vishnu Hembade. Here I am going to present my video on sudden blotting, which is used for the detection of particular DNA fragments from the DNA sample. Procedure for the sudden blotting. It included the following steps. Blotting, cross-linking, then pre-hybridization, then probe preparation, denaturation, hybridization, washing and film development. Firstly, place the tray and put the 3mm Wattman filter paper onto the sand pad. Then pour the 10x SSC buffer so as to cover one fourth of the sand pad. Then soak the filter paper using 10x SSC buffer. Then on the top of the wick Wattman paper, Place another Wattman paper with the size of the gel and soak this with the 10x SSC buffer and then remove any air bubbles present by using glass rod. Then place the gel onto the Wattman paper without any air bubbles. Put the nylon membrane over the gel having the same size. Then soak the membrane using 10x SSC buffer. And remove the air bubbles by passing the glass rod over the membrane. The care should be taken that no bubble should be left. Put two layers of Wattman paper having the gel size. Then soak the paper by using 10x SSC buffer. And carefully remove the air bubbles by passing the glass rod over the Wattman filter paper. Then place the bunch of toilet papers onto the Wattman filter paper. Then put the glass plate over the towel paper and keep the weight. Allow the transfer overnight or 18 hours. Then cross linking. Fix the DNA to the membrane by using UV trans illuminator. And care should be taken that DNA face downwards to the trans illuminator. Allow this exposure for 5 minutes under UV light. Then pre-hybridization. Place the membrane into the hybridization tube in a such a way that DNA side facing inside the tube and add 40 to 50 ml of church buffer into the tube. Then keep these tubes into the hybridization oven for pre-hybridization purpose. Keep this pre-hybridization process for 2 hours at 65 degrees Celsius temperature into the hybridization oven. Then probe preparation. In this step, the probe is prepared according to the instruction from the user manual as we use a thermoscientific DECA label DNA labeling kit. Probe are prepared by using isotope alpha 32 phosphorus. While preparing the probe, care should be taken that handle these steps behind the plexiglass. Then incubate the mixture tube into the boiling water pot for 30 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius temperature. Then denaturation. Denature the probe incubating at 95 to 100 degrees Celsius temperature for 5 to 7 minutes. 
hybridization this is important step add the denatured probe into the pre hybridization solution that contains our nylon membrane care must be taken that the probe should not added directly to the membrane and it should be added to the sides of the tube with the formal liquid mix the content of the tube by minor shaking the tube and hybridization is done for overnight or 16 hours of incubation at 65 degrees Celsius temperature into the hybridization one then washing remove the radioactive probe or the solution wash the membrane using washing solution containing 2x ssc and 0.1% SDS solution. Then keep this tube into the hybridization oven for spinning. Washing is done for 15 minutes which is performed for 2 times. Then X-ray film development. Never expose this X-ray film or X-ray film package to the light and this bands on the film showing the positive results.